Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Hanwell. I'm Kamchak Fisco. Come join me for a survival horror adventure. Now we gotta search the far side. So there's a key in the science wing? Headmaster's key unlocks all the doors. Oh, the locked doors! Right, because there were two locked doors. Because all these open. So we'll search up here, or not, We're, we won't search up there because there's no point. <laughs> but it at least explains why it was dark, because it was trying to tell me, hey, you don't need to go up here, don't waste your time. Okay, so there were two doors that were locked on this side. This one and one back over there that was one of the science rooms. Okay, the headmaster's key doesn't open that door, interesting. Stop panting, bro. So this must be the room where the key is. So that key opens the other door. So I needed the key to get to a key to open the door. That's the epitome of arbitrary. <laughs> Ooh, witch eye. Don't worry, witch. I'll get all your, all your eyes back. I promise. Apparently they all fall out and just like... Applied. Um. Somebody didn't chop up the body because they're still moving around in the box. Just, you know... But, you know, how you do. Alright, moving on. <coughs> Let's go open that other door, because, you know, I don't want to be around bloody moving boxes. That's, that's probably not good for our sanity. Yep, it was that arbitrary. A key to get a key to go open a door. Where the hell am I? I hope this place isn't a maze, because we have a limited sprint. That's going to suck. I thought I saw something. This is going to be a lot of zigzagging. A one-way mirror that shows a chair. That's creepy. Um, no. Who the hell were they watching on a rotating chair? Wait, what? This is freaking weird. And this was in the school. This is 20 different kinds of fucked up. That's a small chair, which means that was for a kid. That is fucking disturbing. Wait, if this is all blocked off, where the hell does this go? This goes into the room with the chair. Where they obviously wanted a kid to be here. Oh, this is just wrong. What the fuck was this doctor up to? Or was this even the doctor? Was this part of the, the community's experiment? God. This is just messed up. Yeah, so this will lead back around. Get me out now, I guess it says. We gotta go around because none of these open and we don't have a key. Oh man, this place is jacked up. Doesn't look like we have any other doorways other than these paths. Oh, there's an echo to my flashlight here. That's freaky. Wait, why can I un unlock this side, but not the other one? God, what were they doing with the children? What the fuck? This is so wrong. This is just fucking sick. What were they doing? Oh, man. Oh, it's a pillow. I thought it was a note. Okay, we got a note and a pad. Let's see what the hell's in the last one here.
Maybe some insight here. It broke again. There are a few connectors in the broom cupboard up by the hall upstairs. I get this fixed ASAP if you don't want anybody getting in here. Yeah, this seems like a place you'd want to hide. Brett, I've just been handed the evacuation report from the school. Everybody but you is out of the city. I can only warn you one last time. You have until 8 p.m. Oh, I think Brett was up to some shady shit, lady. Wire appears to be broken. I don't know the code, and I can't get in. So we're going to have to come back here when we have a code. And, I guess, tape to fix the wire? Or a new wire. Okay, so I guess for now we're done at the school, because I guess we weren't supposed to come here yet? I am kind of doing it out of order. It did tell me to go to the hospital. Or the church. It told me to go to the church. Uh, there we go. Trying to find the flashlight button. My hand slipped on the keyboard and I wasn't sure if I was over the WASD keys or not. Apparently I was not. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So we need to find some things before we come back to the school. Nope, gotta go through a room. Right, that makes sense. I can't leave until I find the cart, but I don't have the, 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 the tape. So I have to find the tape and the key, uh, the uh, code. Okay, so it's got to be in one of these rooms. Chance it was in the room with the creepy doll? I mean, at least that would make sense, because it would explain why we should come in here. Hey, Joe, any chance you've seen some tape? Maybe a code? You suck. And your haircut's crap, by the way. Might as well piss off the demon doll, because why not? So far, everything I've been able to interact with outside of lockers has been glowing. Was it in here because of the whole jump scare thing? Nothing like sloshing through blood on the weekends. Wait, where were the lockers? I need to go back to the lockers that I didn't actually check and see if maybe it was in one of those. That's the only place left I could think of. It wasn't in the lockers, so I'm at a loss here. Oh, I can add keys to a key ring. I did not know that. Cool, and it takes them out of my inventory. That's handy. I had no clue. Okay, so I found a connector in the maintenance room. But that doesn't give me the code. Maybe the code's back down in there in the creepy viewing room. I have to double check, because I wasn't really focused on the walls. I was kind of focused on the creepy shit in the middle. Should do by our shadow. Where are the bald? We got really short hair. This is creepy. Rechecking all of this stuff. It was creepy the first time. Okay, there's got to be something in the main room, then, because I don't know where else we'd have gotten a code. Oh, hello, what is this? Brett, someone's on to us. 5437. Well, we got the code, and we got the uh, doohickey to actually put this thing together. So, we can get through. Okay, so everything we'll ever need is always in a building. That's good to know. So, this wasn't the community thing. I don't know if the doctor was behind it, but this Brett guy that's dead in the other room was definitely behind whatever the hell was going on down here. And somebody else. He had a partner, according to that note. What were those assholes up to? I totally didn't do it out of order. You didn't see anything. It's fine. Yeah, Brett, looks like you got what you deserved. You can't... Ouch me now? Touch me now. Who, the doctor? Well, now we can open it from that side. And we have no reflection still. Well, we kind of do. You can't touch me now. Wait, what would I just pick up? Oh, that was a part of the citizenship card. Okay, got it. So that was a... Th 
We, d- we didn't even get to find out what they did down here. We just know that it was something fucked up and shady involving kids. And Brett had a partner. But I don't know if it was the lady. It doesn't sound like it was, because she had no idea. She just got the kids out. If I don't get all the collectibles by the end of the game, what I will do is I'll go back, collect them all, um, possibly record that footage, depending, and show you guys what happens once you do. Oh, it is definitely daytime now. Holy crap. That is bright. Oh, right, I'm at the school. It took me a second to remember where the hell I was. So I gotta run around the building anyway. Okie dokie. Do need to get my hands on a weapon, though. Because, you know, they're just gonna start throwing shit at us. Alright, so I did try turning some of the effects... Well, I didn't turn the effects off. I just turned the draw distance to closer. Which didn't seem to be enough. Let me try it again. There we go, because I didn't want to turn the graphics down, but I will turn the draw distance further in, so we won't be able to see as far, but honestly, that shouldn't matter. Ooh, the what, where? That's a new one. Not familiar with this. We're being chased by a new thing. A very unhappy new thing that I can't see. I don't know if it's invisible or what. Okay, this one has my attention. This one works. If it doesn't pop up often, it could be an effective monster. You gotta be paranoid because I don't see anything. Can't get out this way. So we have to go back out to the front of the school because I don't think there's another way out of this compound. Yeah, the game doesn't pause when I do this. Yep, we gotta get around the wall to get out of here. Wait, it says that's a house. Oh, I can't get in that door. I have to go around. That makes sense. That's what it's telling me. Certainly on edge. Holy crap, man. We don't want any. I already bought Girl Scout cookies for the year. Thank you. You can piss off now. Oh, a weapon, thank goodness. Oh, we'll take a bat. A bat is better than nothing. Even if it's a wet, slick bat that... Never mind. I'm not going with that train of thought. We're just going to move on. It's, it's fine. hope it doesn't attack me while I'm moving around. Alright, looks like there's a backyard to this place. Yeah, something lame. Don't care. Moving on. Saved. So apparently there's a limit with the save mechanic. You're only allowed to save once at an ATM once you've exited a building. But once you've exited a building again, you can save it again. But it's a one-time use only per world spawn. Which is kind of silly and stupid if you ask me, but yeah, whatever. There's nothing back here. I didn't think there was. I didn't see anything on the map. Whatever that is, it just seems to be stalking us. It's freaky. Is the church this way? The church is this way. So I need to go up that street anyway. So we'll check to see if any of these are buildings. I'm not going to do my combing pattern. I'll actually wait and do that afterward. Because it seems like when we go the right way, we run into a hell of a lot less shit. And I'll just deal with the frustration of fighting these assholes in my off time when it's just collecting stuff. I'll keep it recording and I'll uh, showcase anything that happens, but I think it's going to be largely arbitrary. Whatever it is, it actually sounds like it's moving around me. But I don't see anything. It's freaking weird. Save the clock tower. Oh, wait, that's Back to the Future. Wrong franchise. More DNA for obviously questionable means. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, keep the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to tag that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone. <laughs>